hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to show you how you can create a wordpress plugin so let me quickly open my local site let me log in So in the WordPress development, uh, plugins and themes are the main things. So in order to start developing uh, WordPress development, uh, you need to have a plugin or a theme. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own plugin so this will be a basic uh, plugin uh, it is the starting point of the wordpress development so from now whatever we are going to learn we will use this uh, simple plugin for a learning purpose so adding plugin will be the same but uh, as we are learning WordPress, we will use this plugin for the learning purpose only. And in future, you will be able to develop your own plugin using the same method. And another one is the theme. So theme we will be uh, creating into the next video. So for this video let's start building a new plugin so i will go to my wordpress repo and into wb content plugins folder i am going to create a new folder and i am going to give name my custom plugin make sure you add a plugin without a space so name should not have a folder name should not have the space into it now i am going to create a new file same as a plugin name my custom plugin.php so this is the best practice of creating plugin so main file of the plugin and the folder name should be same now what is the next step so we will add uh, basic info related to this plugin so that this plugin will start appearing in the plugin section in wordpress backend so i will go to my github repository so i have already created a sample plugin So I will copy paste this info, sorry. And I will simply put it over here. Now I will change this plugin name to my custom plugin plugin uri i am adding as a wordpress.com 
this will be the plugin description plugin description author is pntwp version is 1.0.0 .0 and author uri will be bhargobi.wordpress.com <coughs> make sure this plugin uri and author uri should different now uh, this is the sample function I have added for the plugin but you can ignore this for now as of now we will only try to add this plugin into WordPress so our plugin simple plugin is ready now it will start appearing into the backend so let's go to the backend <coughs> and in this plugin I am going to refresh this so as you can see this plugin is start appearing into the backend now let's see what details goes where so plugin name goes here this is the main plugin name activate and delete buttons are coming by default plugin description will go here so we have added this plugin description over here so all these details are coming from the these comments we added into this main plugins file so this is how this plugin you can start building your plugin and this is the necessary info to display plugin into backend now plugin uri so plugin uri will go over here visit plugin site plugin uri will go into visit plugin site now let's try to remove this so if we remove that section this link will not be available as you can see so if you don't add plugin uri that uh, visit plugin site will not be there this is the author name and author uri so if you don't add author uri let's see what happens so it will just display the author name and URI will be will not be there now let's try to remove author and see what happens so it will not display the author name so these are the basic things you need to add into your plugins main php file and after adding this you will have your plugin listed in the wordpress backend now let's try to activate this so now plugin is activated this is all done by wordpress and uh, currently this plugin is doing nothing so let's try to print a simple message so let's try to visit the plugin and our message from plugin is displaying over here try to deactivate the plugin and now we will refresh the page and message disappears that means plugin is deactivated again activate refresh 
and plugin is activated so this is how you can add your custom plugin into WordPress this is the video thanks for watching let me know if you have any doubt or question please write down below into the comments